lovely people welcome to my kitchen today's recipe is macaroni jollof very tasty and simple to make before we go on please subscribe if you have not yet done so like and share this video and click on the bell icon so start by lighting our stove place our pan on it add vegetable oil then i added bay leaves and negro pepper which is optional but i like the uh, flavor in my food i added some chopped onions you are going to stir fry this for some time and then i have this tomato sauce in the fridge i have the recipe of this tomato sauce there and so i'm going to leave the link there for you to watch if you have it in a larger quantity you can use it for your pasta for your jollof rice as well as other sauces do you get it okay so we are going to cook this for some time and then we are also going to boil our macaroni so i have oil in water the oil will help um the macaroni not to stick together do you get it i added salt to it so let's check on our stew so this stew we are not going to use everything but i just wanted to cook it a bit so i'm adding water to help or the aid the cooking process i just wanted to cook because this is, a, this is the last bag you get it so what i added was um, nutmeg and all pepper seasoning black pepper white pepper and garlic and ginger powder and also small chili okay so going to cook this very well okay so I'm going to use make use of this macaroni. Yes, that's what we are going to use. Okay, so let's check on our water. And I just added my macaroni to it. I'm going to stir cover and allow it to cook. Okay, so I'm going to slice and chop some vegetables, cabbage, carrot, and bell peppers, cucumber as well. Okay, so let's check on our sauce. At this time, I'm going to scoop some from it and then use the rest for the jollof do you get it mm -hmm. because this was the last batch of the tomato sauce i decided to cook all a bit before i was scoop some so i just added my carrots to it okay we are going to cover and give it time for it to cook a little you know carrot is hard so that is why i decided to add that one first i'm going to add bell peppers and um, cucumber to it and i'm not going to let this cook for it to be tender mm -hmm. okay so just a little bit of water for it to loosen up and then let's go and check on our macaroni please like and share this video click on the bell icon for more notifications okay so you see our macaroni is ready now it's not 100 percent cooked it's like let's say 70 to 80 percent cooked you see it's ready and so we are going to scoop it and straight to the um, sauce do you get it mm. what you have to do is when you're making macaroni jollof make sure that the moment you scoop it from the water it's getting straight to the stew instead of leaving it there for some time it might end up being more soft do you get it again so just scoop straight into your sauce and then i'm adding my cabbage you know cabbage is very tender so it's it's um very important to use it at this time so that it doesn't become it doesn't overcook yes i didn't want it to be overcooked i also added some onions so it, I'm going to add a little bit of this uh, water from the macaroni to it, yes. Mm -hmm. So instead of cooking the macaroni and then you leave it there for it to rest and sometimes it will end up um, sticking together straight away, just add it to your sauce. So I also added a little bit of salt. Okay, so let's cover this and then give it time like three four minutes 
Mm -hmm. So at this point, uh, macaroni jollof is ready. This is it. Very much ready. The taste was awesome. If you're a vegetarian, this is so okay for you. You will love it because I, I even enjoyed it like that without adding any meat. But if you are not and you want protein, you can add um, your meat or your fish to it. So this is it. Very simple and tasty. Do you get it? Thanks so much for watching. If you are watching me and you have not yet subscribed, please consider doing that and click on the bell icon to get notification. Bye-bye.